Hi, welcome to my channel. This is my love for Lux, and today I'm doing a few things. I'm doing a reveal, and I am going to be discussing why I am selling at least one, if not two, possibly even three of my bags. So, if you are interested, if you love reveals, unboxings, this is not a real unboxing, um, just these type of videos, stay tuned. Okay, so here we have, as you see, I tried to reconstruct this right here. I did open this up. Um, this here is a new handbag, duh, by Louis Vuitton. Um... And this handbag is going to explain why I'm selling at least one, if not two, possibly even three of my current handbags. So without further ado, let's okay, get here we have my recent purchase. I ordered this lovely Speedy 25 bandolier in cognac about two, two and a half weeks ago. And I know what you're thinking. Girl, didn't you just unbox two handbags that look exactly like this? I did. I did. I did. I did. And I kept both of them. Mm -hmm. I did. I did. Hits why I'm saying I am selling at least one, possibly two, if not maybe even three handbags. So... I hate those videos where people explain why they spend their money. And here I am about to be a hypocrite explaining why I'm spending why I spent my money. Um when I when they released this handbag, or when I let me just say when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have seen this handbag before I purchased my Fendi by the way medium and of course my lovely Loewe puzzle bag a lot of people who saw the uh the video i did what's in my bag for the puzzle bag they didn't stay to the end because at the end i actually showed a picture of the fendi bag saying that i actually kept that one as well so like i said when i saw this here i was like okay well you know what girl you don't need this one here because you have those two handbags but i kept looking at this and what made me just really pull the plug was that this one handbag actually fulfills both of my needs for the puzzle bag as well as for the Fendi uh, by the way medium or medium by the way whatever you call it this here I feel like it gives a little bit of pizzazz so it's trendy but not trendy and it's still um under the radar low key even though you have the um prompt leather I feel like it's still a little bit discreet. It's not in your face like the canvas monogram. And I'm going to insert a picture of an old picture. Stand up straight, y'all. Of the matter of fact, I'm going to sit you right here. An old picture of my Dunia Burke Florentine medium satchel. I bought that handbag when it first came out. When they were not on sale, you pay full price. And I carried that to the wheels fell off. I ended up selling that handbag maybe about, I think maybe in five or six years after I got it. And a couple of reasons why I sold that particular handbag, even though I was in love with it. Matter of fact, I was in love with it so much that I actually bought it in black. That Florentine leather by Junior and Burke, if you've seen some of my old videos, I love, I love DB. I love the quality. It was a little bit too heavy and there's like a little, there's a, there's a flap. It didn't really bother me, but if, if I had to have a small complaint, it's like a little flap, kind of like with the medium uh, puzzle bag by the web, that you have to unflip it and then unzip it. But the main thing was that that handbag was a little bit too heavy and it patinaed. And when I first bought it, I loved the initial color, but I wore, I carried it so much, I'd be ashamed of myself that it just patina a little bit too much for me. So I was like, you know what? It still has some life in it. And the lady who actually purchased it, she actually restored it and it looked really, really good. So, but I've always missed that bag. And I actually, a few years ago, was going to repurchase it. But I noticed Dooney Burke had kind of changed. The leather had changed from 2011. 
So fast forward, Louis Vuitton brings this bag out and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like that perfect shade of cognac, perfect shade of tan. It reminded me of my, obviously a more glamorous version of my Florentine Dooney and Burke a satchel. But I was like, well, maybe it doesn't weigh as much because that satchel, the medium satchel is about the size of a 30, a speedy 30. So I said, you know what, let me get this. Let me kind of like feel the weight. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this here gives me three in one. It gives me my the feel of my old Dooney and Burke without the weight and without me having to worry about the patina. It gives me my Fendi. It's a little bit trendy. Look at Ryan, y'all. And it gives me what the Loewe Puzzle Medium Bag gives me. It gives me a little bit of discretion. So it's not loud. But at the same time, it, it, it just, it gives looks. And I really feel like Louis Vuitton knocked it out of the ballpark with this color. And I always said in the back of my mind, I wish when I got my Dooney and Burke, I was like, I wish Louis Vuitton would come out with a Speedy in this color. And lo and behold, they did. So, and it just really doesn't make sense. I'm gonna stand up. But it doesn't make sense for me to keep all three handbags. I don't think I can get all three in the picture here. But um, you go down. But yes. So when you obviously when you look at them, they all kind of they all have the same style. They all have pretty much the same color. And the reason why I say one, definitely one for sure. And the reason why I say I know I'm selling one of these handbags, if not two, and possibly even three, is because of the the color and and the style. So surprisingly, the one that I'm definitely selling is the Loewe puzzle bag because I feel like between the two of between the Fendi and um, put you back here some. here. I feel like between the Fendi and the Loewe, I feel like this one here reminds me more of this one than this does. So that's how come this one here will be up for sale. I will, I'm going to, and honestly, I'm really only wanting what I, what I paid for it. That's really it. And, and the shipping and the shipping and insurance costs. Other than that, not trying to make any money off this. Uh, I just don't need this one, this and this. Now, the reason how come I'm kind of contemplating with this one here is because I do have I do have a couple of scratches. I'm going to try to put it up close to the camera so you can see. There are a couple of scratches that I did acquire with this one here. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Worst case scenario. Mm, all right. Um... This one I may not sell, but if, okay, backtrack. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. And again, with this one here, I will be selling it for, ooh, selling it for what I paid. Um, yeah, what, what I paid, exactly what I paid for it. Again, not trying to make any money off, off of these handbags. Just don't need all three. And the third handbag that I'm thinking about selling is, so this here is the third handbag that I'm thinking about selling. This is the Speedy, okay, duh. Let me see what it is right here. <laughs> the Speedy 30 in monogram. And the only reason why I'm, I've, I've contemplated selling this one here is because I really, I don't carry it. Um, I think I carried it like a couple of times in the past year that I purchased this and that's because whenever I'm looking for a Speedy, I'm typically grabbing my Damier Bean Speedy. When I'm looking for a monogram, I am hands down, I'm always grabbing that doggone Pachette Matisse. She's so tired of me grabbing her, y'all. I promise you, she is tired of me grabbing her. And when I don't grab her, I am using this one here. And this is the handbag I'm currently using. So that's why I'm thinking about selling this one here because the Pachette 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Bichette Matisse and the bum bag, I use them both as handheld, like this here. They're both monogram, and both and with both of those, they are also they're crossbodies. And for my bum bag, I also use that one as a shoulder bag. Now, the only thing that I'm reluctant on selling the reason why I'm a little bit reluctant on selling on selling this one here is because your girl is knocking on 50 like 50 is like right there like hey girl how you doing and realistically i'm not sure as much as i love the pochette matisse and as much as i love my bum bag i'm really not sure 10 years from now 15 20 years from now if i'm still going to be wanting to rock a pochette matisse and a bum bag because I'll be then knocking on 60 15 years getting close to 70 and I just um and I just don't know if I was maybe if I was like in my 30s I wouldn't even worry about it even if I was in my early 40s I wouldn't worry about it but what I have noticed that now that I'm like looking at 50 like this this is 50 right here and I'm like move get out the way <laughs> But now that I'm so close, I you know, I know we're saying, oh, 40 is a new 30 and 50 is a new whatever. What you can't do is, is change time. And realistically, I only have so much time to really enjoy and utilize these handbags. So I'm really trying to be conscious. Um, so yes, so like I said, this one here, I'm, uh, I am putting up for sale and I'll have the prices listed below this one here. I'm obviously selling and I really hate it because I do love this handbag. And what I love about this handbag, it's really the pocket in the back y'all. But like I said, this here, she just, she really just checks all of my blocks. She, she gives me a true three four one and i just could not be happier with this even though i haven't used it yet and the reason why i haven't used it is because i've been using my dang up a chef teeth in my bum bag and my disco my gucci disco soho but when i'm ready to use this lovely color i this is what i'm going to be rocking um so i think i'm going to do a real quick what's in my bag okay so we're about to see what all fits inside this wonderful handbag and one of the things i love about this is this deep pocket here on the side as well as the zipper pocket and if i didn't mention this here is made in france so here we have a cosmetic case and a junk drawer which is my mini pochette A small wallet, which I'm going to put here on the side. Uh, some AirPods, it, lower AirPods, I'm going to put in the zipper pocket. And I don't always carry this right here. It's, well, okay, let's keep the bug. I really, most time I don't carry this if I'm carrying my mini pochette in my cosmetic case. But for the purposes, of, I just want to show what all fits inside here. Can you see and some lotion now with this lotion right here like see my ring my ring light uh if i don't have a small lotion inside my mini pochette then i'll carry one of these lotions but can we talk about this overpriced lotion y'all so i bought this black one right thinking that okay it's supposed to really make a difference because that's what everybody's saying it is so not that much different than the uh than the other one the white egg so okay getting back to this what's in my bag so can you see what all fits and as far as my phone i will probably put my phone in this pocket right here Lord, yeah where are my keys that's what i need my keys okay, and last but not least my keys and i'm going to put my keys right here on the side and again like i said my phone will go right here so we have like i said a toiletry pouch 15 my cosmetic case a junk drawer which is my mini pochette just an additional junk drawer which is the medium karagami a my keys and my small wallet and some lotion in the uh side pocket okay obviously she zips up pretty well no distortion 
so yes and and like I said again I typically will not carry all three of those things in there uh, but what I would do in place of that this right here if I'm going grocery shopping well I'm lying if I'm going grocery shopping I'll put my coupons in here if I don't put them inside the zippy thing from my Felici. Or sometimes I'll put my coupons inside this small agenda if I don't have a lot and then I'll just put that in there. So let me just throw that in there just for entertainment purposes. And trying to do this sometimes from this angle is not always the easiest. So as you can see, and there's still plenty of room to put a water bottle or just some miscellaneous stuff on top. But I prefer to do the row method just because it's easier to you know, pull something out and I don't have to pull something out and then look for something on the rows. I just like to leave it like this right here. And that's my my preference. But yes, like I said, I am I am so excited. I can't wait to use this handbag. Um, and so if anyone's interested, let me know. I will be also posting the two, I know for sure, to the one handbag, but definitely if more than likely both handbags, the Fendi and the Lueve on Poshmark as well. If I do, the prices will definitely be more expensive than it will be on YouTube going through just PayPal. All right. Thanks so much. Wishing you guys a blessed and safe day. I'm going to hurry up and get this bad boy posted. For those who have subscribed, thank you. For those who watch, thank you. And for those who comment, thank you.